on the Baldwin County beat. Disappointment tonight at a school budget meeting in Baldwin County. The meeting was open to the public and board members, though it would be a packed house. They thought it would be. But as News 5's Pat Peterson reports, only a handful of folks showed up to voice their concerns about money and leadership. Words like mistrust, mismanagement, and lack of transparency were used to describe why Baldwin County voters overwhelmingly shot down a tax increase to build new schools and also voted to defund existing school taxes. I really thought we'd have a packed house. But when the Board of Education invited the public to attend a budget hearing in Loxley tonight, less than 20 people showed up. With the result of the referendum um, and um, a lot of that being based around funding and how the school spends its revenue, so I was a little uh, disappointed to see that we didn't have more people here. Of those 20, most were members of civic groups and political or educational organizations. The average parent did not attend. An informed and engaged community is going to do nothing but be helpful. Um, folks are busy, summer's still on, school hadn't started. This is an effort for us to bring that transparency level higher. I think if, if people really want to look at what's going on financially in the school system, coming to the budget hearing is just a critical meeting to attend. CFO John Wilson highlighted the 1,600-page balanced and streamlined $311 million budget, which is $18 million less than this year's budget. That's the good news, but the long-term financial stability of the school system is a concern, particularly if the renewals are not voted back in. Of Avalor Mills uh, that failed uh, earlier in the year, that are set to expire at the end of this fiscal year. Then the next fiscal year, we have the one cent uh, penny sales tax that will uh, expire. The board will hold another budget hearing September 3rd in Loxley. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.